Avogadro is a computational chemistry software which helps you to model the chemical systems. Okay. So, in this uh, software, we are going to design uh, H2S uh, dimer, H2O dimer and then we are going to uh, draw two amino phenol uh, one. So, so, here we are going to discuss about hydrogen bonding and uh, in hydrogen bonding we have two types of hydrogen bonding which is uh, intramolecular hydrogen bonding and the intramolecular hydrogen bonding. So, intramolecular hydrogen bonding is the hydrogen bonding which exists between two molecules. Okay. So, for this we are going to take a H2O and H2S as a dimers as an example and for intramolecular hydrogen bonding we are going to take a two nitrophenol as an example. Okay. So, so, all the systems we are going to model in Avogadro software. So, Avogadro is a open source software which you can download from avogadro.cc uh, websites and once you downloaded it, uh, you can start using or uh, you can start uh, using it uh, to model the systems. Okay. So, now let us go back to the software. Okay, okay students, you can download the Avogadro software uh, from the avogadro.cc. It is a open source software which you can download for, uh, with free of cost. Once you download it and then uh, you can install it in your computer. Once you install this and if you open the software, you will have this type of screen. This is a home screen. Okay. So, in the home screen, before you draw any of the molecules, you make some uh, uh, some settings enabled. Okay. So, for this come back to the settings menu, main menu and then you have toolbars. So, in the toolbars, you have different options. So, make display types, main toolbar, tools, draw settings, all these options enable. Once you enable all these options, you can see those options in the left hand side of the screen. Okay. In the left hand side of the screen, you, you see you have a display types and then below to this you have draw settings. So, this will allow you to draw the molecules in the Avogadro and in the display types, make sure that you enable hydrogen bond and also make sure that you enable ball and stick. Okay. So, this will allow you to see visualize the hydrogen bonds. Okay. So, once these two ball and stick uh, and um, hydrogen bonds are enabled, now you are free to draw the molecules. So, let us go to the first molecule. So, first molecule we will uh, draw water dimer and then we will optimize the structure of the water dimer. So, dimer in the sense it is it has two molecules, monomer means it is a single molecule. Okay. So, now in the draw settings you have an element right. So, in the element choose uh, when you click it you will have different types of elements. So, choose oxygen okay. and then bond order let it be single. Once you have this options and then you can uh, single click in the main screen will allow you to draw water molecule automatically. Okay. Since our intention is to optimize the water dimer we need two water molecules right. So, just to draw another water molecule close to this molecule, first water molecule. Okay. So, now you have two water molecules. Okay. So, now come back to the extension menu and then you see there is a third option called molecular mechanics. So, in the molecular mechanics you have a set of force field option. So, when you click the that option you will have a, uh, some of the force fields. Okay. The first one is force field. Here when you click it, you will have a different force fields. Now, let us choose M, MM FF 94 option and the number of steps let it be 500 and algorithm there are two types of algorithms. One is conjugate gradient algorithm, another one is steepest descent algorithm okay. and then choose uh, any conjugate gradient or if you want you can also stoop the other algorithm that, that does not matter. Okay. And then convergence limit you can make it to 10 to the power of minus 9 or it can be 10 to the power of minus 7 it does not matter. Okay. So, the smaller the number the better accuracy the calculations will be. Okay. And once you set all these parameters you can click ok. okay. So, now you are ready to optimize the geometry of water dimer. Okay. So, come back to the extension menu once again and in the extension menu you have optimized geometry right just click that. Okay. So, now the system Avogadro software optimize the geometry of water dimer. Okay. So, now you can look that you have a hydrogen bonding between one water molecule and another water molecule right. So, because this the yellow color dotted line represents the hydrogen bonding. Okay. So, 
oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen ok that is why you have hydrogen bonding between one water molecule and another uh, water molecules and this is an example of intermolecular hydrogen bonding ok ok guys. So, now you are going to redo the same process for H 2 S dimer ok. So, what we done earlier is for water dimer and now we are going to do the same thing for H 2 S dimer you are going to change oxygen to sulphur ok. So, come back to the element and then you choose sulphur ok and when you click oxygen it becomes sulphur and you can when you click oxygen again it becomes sulphur H 2 S ok. So, now you have H 2 S. Now let the conditions be as it is the force will let the force will be as it is and you can optimize the geometry once again ok. Now you do not see the hydrogen bonding between uh, 2 H 2 S molecules because you do not uh, sulphur uh, electronegativity ok. Sulphur negative electronegativity is 2.58 and hydrogen is uh, 2.22 ok. So, that is why there is no hydrogen bonding between 2 H 2 S molecules and this is the reason why H 2 S is a gas and H 2 O is a water because of hydrogen bonding water uh, H 2 O is in the form of water liquid and um, uh, H 2 S is a gas. Okay, guys. So, now uh, so this two systems are an example of intermolecular hydrogen bonding ok. So, intermolecular hydrogen bonding is a hydrogen bonding that exists between two molecules two different molecules. Now, we are going to discuss a system where you have a hydrogen bonding that exists within a molecule ok that is called as intramolecular hydrogen bonding ok. Now, you delete all the molecules. Ok students, now we are going to draw two nitrophenol uh, system in the Avogadro and then we are going to optimize the structure of two nitrophenol and then we are going to visualize the intramolecular hydrogen bonding that exists in this system ok. So, in order to draw this uh, two nitrophenol you have a easy option you come back to the build menu in the main menu and then here you have a insert option right. So, here you have an option to insert uh, different uh, structures for example, if you have peptides or DNA all, all these things you can insert over here. So, now let us choose fragment option ok. So, here in the filter you just type phenol it is already over here, but you can type phenol ok. So, here you have a option for phenol click this insert the phenol structure in the Avogadro. Now, you have phenol ok. But our molecule is 2 nitrophenol, right? So, we need to draw nitro group into this in the ortho position. So, this is the ortho position. So, in this ortho position, you have to draw nitrogen, right? So, choose nitrogen in the draw settings and uh, click the hydrogen in the ortho position and convert it that into hydrogen. Now, you have uh, nitrogen in that position and then draw, look, choose oxygen atom and then draw two oxygen atoms here which uh, bonds with nitrogen ok. okay. Now, you have a uh, one oxygen uh, one. So, now you can look that whenever I change whenever I try to uh, draw oxygen atoms you can look the hydrogen bonding that exists because I already choose hydrogen bonding. So, if there is anything uh, hydrogen bonding that exists in the what uh, this molecule it will start reflecting ok. That is why you see the dotted lines uh, when I draw the molecule. Now, you choose another oxygen and bonds with the nitrogen ok. Now, you have NO2 ok. So, now the molecular mechanics uh, let the force field be as it is ok and then optimize the structure ok. So, now you have two nitrophenol in this system you can look that there is a hydrogen bonding that exists with the hydrogen in the phenolic group to the oxygen in the nitro group. So, this is an example of intramolecular hydrogen bonding.